Hey, sweetie. What are you doing here? Where are you going? She tells you what she wants you to do at the time. If she's sleeping and I try to pick her up, she will take my finger and push it the door. <laughs> but when she wants me to hold her, she would jump on me. It's a special relationship because Harriet does not like anybody else. If I try to show her to someone else, she tries to run in my sleeve. I've held her for my husband to try petting her and she's like, don't touch me. <laughs> so her personality is different than a lot of mice. But when they brought her to me, she was so tiny and helpless. She looked very lonely and is very needy. She was the squeakiest mouse I've ever seen. <laughs> it was a lot of sleepless nights for me. She would just squeak nonstop. It was like petting her, letting her know that my hand was a safe place. Once she recognized that I was a source of food and comfort, she quickly saw me as her new mom. And I knew there was something different about her. I've rehabbed other wild mice before. When they get bigger, they start to get more wild. But Harriet would do the opposite. She never wanted me to put her down. She would come running toward my hand and jump into it. So that's when I decided she would do better as a pet mouse. When she sees me in the room, she just stands up and stares at me until I come over and pick her up. She likes to cuddle. She wants to roll on her side and let me stroke her. And then she makes her little purring noise. She loves me giving her kisses. We have a very special bond. She thinks I'm special and I think she's special too. But a lot of people think it's weird. And they're terrified and think of them as pests. And I understand because they freak me out as well. I definitely would have been one of those people that jumped on a chair if a mouse was running around. So Harriet has totally changed my perspective of mice and what they're capable of. It's not this scary evil creature that invades your house. It's just a cute little animal that's just trying to survive and live its life. And we can find ways to, to coexist with them. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible. It's time to watch more.